Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you uh, have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um if you feel like the video just gives you a good insight or uplift you know please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas feed your focus and let your anger and pain starve that's true um it, it's just, it, a lot of times it's hard to feed your focus when things are just not going right or it is just like you pushing out push out and push out and you're barely getting anything back or you know, it's just like things are not unfolding the way it is. You probably had you a goal date by, hey, I'm supposed to be getting done by now. And it still really haven't done anything. And the universe is telling you don't don't feed into that. You know, um, and a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that. You know, I have to be able to tell myself that too. You know, put myself in the corner like, look, <laughs> okay. You know, these different things are really, you know, really helping you get towards that next level. And a lot of times for you to get your strength, you're going to have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations. For you to have uh, persistence, you won't have to be that person that goes through that long, drawn out wait. You know, it'll be, it, it can get hard at times when you're constantly left and right, seeing people getting blessings left and right, and you're trying not to be a bitter Betty about it. And you're just, you know, they always tell you when you see people get blessings like that, even though it's hard, you know, go ahead and give them their congrats. Cause it's like when you do that, it's like you, you are a uh, blessing, you know, you're blessing your blessings that are on its way, you know, um, and they tell you, you know, cause it's just like at times you, you get like, ugh. They didn't deserve it. You don't realize just because that happened, you blocked your own blessings just because you were being ugly towards somebody else. Because you don't know what that person had to go through or those people had to go through to get those blessings. You don't know how long, you know, they had put in their work for. You know, it's just like right now. I'm very passionate about my videos. You know, it gets to that point where, yeah, there'll be certain times where when things are getting all heavy because I've been putting in so much you know, stuff with my podcast or one-on-one -on -one, uh, or my um, videos here. I, it'll be times where I just need to go ahead and reflect on my life, you know, reflect on myself. And I have to be able to press pause. And it's like today, you know, I've been, it's like ever since summer solstice, I've been having really crazy uh, sleep habits. So I've been up since like 1045 last night and been up since then. I'm like, you know, tired is just hitting on to me. But I'm just like, oh, there, you know, there's so many different things I want to talk about. You know, and then that's letting me know I'm passionate about it because it'll be quick. I have no problem making up an excuse for something if I don't feel like doing it. I'm like, oh, you know, my, my, my eyelash hurt. I'm like, girl, what's I got to do with you working out? My eyelash hurt. I just, I, I don't feel like lifting it today. You know, be one of those different things. And it is just like being able, I'd rather feed my, you know, I, I love to be tired because I'm being, I'm being pr productive or I'm being, um, motivated or being determined you know to do the things that I truly love um, then feeding my focus on things that you know is out of my control or different things that I should have been let go of you know all those different things and it is just like I, I love being that type of tire where I can say you know because a lot of times when we, we allow ourselves to focus on all the negative in our life or about how we're embarrassed or shamed because we did somebody a certain kind of way or why did I do that or why did I say that or I should have had a big powerful comeback than what I said or I should have did this and it's just like you end up draining yourself because there is certain things that we just had to make peace with and it's like right now it, it when I talk to so many different people they're like Rosalind is so heavy you know I've been guided to you know uh, cut off uh, certain family members you know whether it's adopted or bio biological or you know I've been ending in a relationship that you know I felt like it, it ended a long time ago it was just me in that fear or you know me being a people pleaser and walking on eggshells around people because I know if I speak or act a certain way it's um uh, you know, it's, um, it makes other people uncomfortable. And it's just like you, you're feed, when you want to feed your focus, you want to feed it on things that, you know, you're trying to bring into your life, you know, or, 
you there's things that you you know you want to be able to do in life are you writing your goals down you know this is the things that i want to do you know and you go to the universe and say hey you know can i make this happen you may um want to start your own, own home business you know you may want to have a daycare or something like that and you just really trying to understand do, does my house come to par you know what different things that i got to do you know if this is something that you really enjoy doing because i know it was a couple of people that i knew that, that started stuff like that and I'm just like don't y'all you know I'll be terrified to have stuff like that you know because you hear so many things out in the news and on YouTube about different things that happen at home daycares and stuff like that because it's I guess you got to make sure everything going cold about it you know some people go you know bootleg about it and just be doing it and having all that stuff and it's not certified but you know but you want to be able to do things legit and you're just talking to different people and it can make you overwhelmed and it's just like you're feeding your focus on what you're trying to put it in you don't want to feed it in what if i don't have enough of, of the licenses or what if i don't have enough money to get these type of you know changes done in my house or whatever and it's just like you don't want to feed that because that's what you're manifesting they want you to feed the focus on um on your foundation you know feed um and uh and it's just like going through all those different things it can be hard at times you know especially it's just like right now well we've been preparing for a while and i know i say this a lot that we're we're diminishing and dissolving the old to bring into the new and it's like if you've been at a frequency for so long a certain period of time and then you're ready to switch up and you're trying to bring something new in it's kind of hard to maintain that a lot you know especially if you got so much stuff going on and that's where universe said this is where your challenge is going to come from that's going to strengthen you and i'll be looking at them like <laughs> you want me to tell you where you put that strength in you know these challenges that but then it's just like i get it i totally get it you know and it, it's just like they they want good for you they want better for you and it, it's just like if you you know you you're passionate about different things and you really have a dream that you really want to get off the ground and you don't know how you're going to go about it when you allow yourself to talk to the universe it's like i don't know how to go about it can you please help me no problem you know because a lot of time we don't realize we get in our own we get in our own way of the process of the progress and we're standing right dead smack dead in the middle of the hallway where they're trying to close the door to one thing and trying to open the door to another one we standing right there like here's the door frame <laughs> you standing right there like um can we close this door either you're gonna stay in the old or you're gonna come in the new and these different things that we're experiencing is telling you you know feed your passion you know feed you know feed feed the things that you want to come into your life you know you know think about the life lessons you had when you fed into the negativity and and all those different things um that has happened into your life that was only supposed to be for the better and a lot of times it's hard for us to really be able to see the bad in, in a good way and these are the things where it's just like you're dissolving that old person you're dissolving your old habits you're healing from your toxic ways or your traumatic ways you're facing your trauma you know um being able to see the life lessons behind the trauma that you have gone through you know being able to see the strength in your power and light in a whole new different form because of those things that you have faced and those things are very beautiful you know when you can you know get to that point in your life where you can instead of crying for tears of sadness you know when you go through so many things you cry a lot but it's just like when you can sit there and you can look how down and out you used to be you know how you used to go about things how you may have ignored different signs that you know that was right there, but you just, you didn't have that strength or that confidence enough to, you know, make the move then, you know, or just the way you upkeep yourself or just how you maintain yourself, you know, people that you, you know, you choose to be in your vibration, you know, seeing yourself is very sacred, you know, and all those things. And you can just cry tears of joy and seeing you know how far I've changed you know how much I've changed in my life for the better you know even though life may not look good to me right now just the person I've been coming has built up in a way that um I'm gonna just go ahead and stop this because I don't know what's going on I think my energy is like really just crazy <laughs> with, my channel, uh, <laughs> with my music today but you know going through all those different things you know it, it will really take you aback and just being able to see 
you know when you get to that point where you're getting very aggressive with yourself it's like look i'm tired of playing i'm, I'm getting on my own nerves because it reminds me of that daggone uh video i put up it was like one of them youtube shorts i put up it's like the next person that leave me i'm leaving too because i'm getting tired of my ish too you know and, and be one of those things you know how you know you can be your own worst critic you can be your own worst enemy and you'll know what makes you tick what makes you happy what what makes you jump for joy what makes you passion you what, what where's that passion that kicks in on certain things that you love to do you know certain things that you love to talk about you know and just you know journal about it you know talk to the universe about how you feel about different things and a lot of times it's like when you're when you're doing that and you know not saying it when you're well i don't know i guess you do it when you're in emotions or whatever but when it gets to that time that you chill and you really like you know universe allows you like look i'm gonna let her vent i'm gonna let him vent you know let them do what they need to do but when they calm down i really want them to understand why we're wanting them to move in a certain way or why we want them to stay focused in a certain way choose to where their energy is going to you know go with them when you really need to search for things go with them when you're trying to manifest something and those are the things where they're wanting you to feed feed that focus into that you know and it'll be different times you'll start seeing where your determination is just like well, i say for example i've been up since last night 10 o'clock last night because my I, I slept for a couple hours because you know uh all the meditations and stuff going on and the sleep habits you know and didn't realize i went to sleep and then woke back up it was like 10 45 and you know been up ever since then and i'm you know and it's just me, me being able to say i'm proud of myself because, you know, usually if, if, if it's something I allow myself to just be, eh, I don't care, whatever, you know, it is what it is. I can, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm ready to do this. I'm not ready to do this right now. And it's just like you're not ready to heal. You're not ready to change. You're not ready to level up. And it'll just be those times where you know it's so easy for you to fall back into your old habits. But when you are really getting buckled down and being serious about it. You'll start understanding, you'll start noticing where you're feeding, feeding that focus into. You're being determined on, you know, picking something off of the ground, even if it, it don't even really look like it's moving something. You just don't know what universe and them are doing behind the scenes. And they're watching every single thing you do. And you're at that point right now in life that where you don't know, went through years and years of uh, experiences. You know, it's just like when we went to school. You know, you don't went years through school. You know, you go, you know, through. It's like, okay, we're going to be, you know, having this, you know, this this uh, project we got to do. Or, oh, we're going to be reading this book and stuff like that. Or we're studying over this certain subject and, and whatever curricular activities you're doing. And next, you know, boom, pop quiz. That's how life is. You know, we experience the different things on our downfalls, our impulse decisions, you know, being uncomfortable, you know, getting out the comfort zone. How we respond instead of reacting. Are we observing instead of absorbing? You know, and life is like a big test. We're in, you know, it's like content I was going to do, monopoly, monopoly in the game of life. You know, you're catching your coins. It's like, go past jail. Don't go to jail. <laughs> get your $200 and keep going. And then you get that extra spend. Then you're going to get the thumb, thim, thimble. You know, and all those different things. And it's just like when you're allowing yourself to really see how much you change. It's like, wow, I used to sit back and give up on things easily. Now it's at that time. Now, even when I want to give up, I can't give up. It's like my soul won't let me. I can be mad today. And still be mad and be doing the things that I said I was going to give up on yesterday. And you'll start noticing that. Well, where when somebody sit up here and gave you, you know, um, a vibration of where it made you want to doubt yourself. You just didn't allow yourself to take it personal. It was like, that's more about them and less about me. But I'm going to keep going, you know. And just being able to understand just because somebody gave up on their dreams don't mean I need to give up on mine. You know, just allow myself to keep going. It's like, don't don't allow somebody to be way off track trying to tell you how to get on track. You know, and those are the different things that's telling you you're feeding that focus into being productive. You're feeding your focus on being motivated and being determined. You're allowing yourself to see those fears and that pain. And you're using that as fuel to focus on the better. Because it's just like, if you notice that these are the different things, you want to stay angry at this this whole time. Is this really worth you know, you know, because a lot of times we can be prideful. It's like, you ain't going to say sorry. No, I ain't going to say sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't want to know you were dead wrong. But it's just that pride will get you in the way. And you will see just from those little petty things, you don't drown out something so long. And like, you know, I used to be that type of person. Like, I ain't like that person. 
And then all of a sudden that person will pop up in my head and I'll try to go all the way back to the reason why I didn't like that person instead of just saying, hey, that person ain't even in my life anymore. Why am I worried about what I'm talking You know, I used to be really petty petty like that. Now it's just like, eh, you know, I, I wish them the best. I hope they're doing good. You know, and just going about my life. You know, it's just like it, it ain't even about that energy no more. Don't put my energy in something, you know, something in some, someone that left out my life. God done took them out my life. That door had been closed. And I had to be able to understand that. You know, when you even going through that change, you'll start noticing, even when you talk amongst your friends and stuff like that, y'all got a lot in common. And it'll be something that you already know that it is like you could be gossiping about something and you already know, like, you'll be starting a conversation and it'll just make a shift like, is this really supporting you? Are you placing judgment on someone? Are you tending to somebody else's business and not tending on to your own? You know, it'll be something like that. And you're like, dang, you know what? I'm not sitting up here, you know, talking. But unless it's like a good subject. Like, it was the video I was talking about, the situation with um, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And I said, I really don't get into, you know, try to get into that, that celebrity stuff. You know, I allow other people to do that. You know, it's no judgment towards anybody else. But it's just like... You know, if it's not based on what I'm talking about or giving an example of what I'm talking about, um, I, I just try not to use that. You know, it's, it would be different if it's on a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody and if we brought it up where it would be certain things like, wow, did you see that? That was just, you know, it was just crazy. Not gossiping, but, you know, something that, you know, just like the situation with the children in te Texas. You know, it, it's, it's like when you're bringing up situations like that, you know, and you're just trying to comprehend the craziness that goes off in the world but it's just like that situation with that you know it, it kind of like got up under my skin a little bit because it, it's just like just leave it alone that's a dead horse just leave it alone <laughs> you know and it's just like so many different like therapists and stuff was coming out and the body language that and, you know the way she said this and the way she see this and you know and all the only thing is I sound you know all throughout of it, all of it I'm just looking like I'm so proud of Johnny <laughs> And I just, you know, I had to bite my tongue. Like, I'm just so proud of Johnny. And that's all I can say. Go ahead with your tour. If you and Kate Moss going to get back together, you know, congratulations. You know, looking at that situation, it allowed me to see that, you know, you, it goes to show you it's like the, the subliminal and that you have to be really be careful about who the people you, you tend to let in your sacred space like that. You know, check out the red flags. You see the red flags, you know, pay attention to that. You know, they tell you, you, you can find out so much about a person when they're angry. You can find out so much about a person within an hour of you first meeting them. Just how, what they talk about, what their subject is about, you know, what they, you know, what they talk about. You know, be very attentive when, when you listen. And it's just like, since I've gone through so much, I've been very, very, very attentive. Like, I'll be, you know, I'm like, Dad, Rosalind, I said, look, I'm 45 years old. When you start, your shift start going off like that, I'm done. You know, like, Dad, you just really out the door. Yes, I am. And I've been through a lot. I'm not, no. I already see with me ignoring my red flags and ignoring the things where the universe is like, hello, don't do that. I see their light. And knowing it's just like that light is like the train light that's about to come up and hit you, you know, and those different things. So I learned so much about where feeding your anger and pain, it gets you nowhere. It gets you nowhere. It keeps you in a miserable state. You don't want to be that like that person that is just always grumpy. All the time, you know, you have those neighbors and stuff that sit out there and fuss about everything or something, you know, remind me. <laughs> as soon as I say that, make me think about the, the movie Monster House. I played that movie out and I still sometimes be on T, uh, YouTube, not to YouTube, but uh, Tubi, be playing Monster House about that old man. I forgot what his name is, yelling about them being on the grass. You know, just being mean like that, not understanding, you know, the backstory on why he got like that. But it's just like feeding that pain and, 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 anger only creates more havoc in your life and then just using you can see how powerful your energy is when you focus on negativity when you focus on things that hurt you when you focus on what people have did to hurt you um what things people did where we felt like you know somebody took something away you know or stole or blocked or whatever and it's just like you know, being able to change the mindset of the perspective of how we see everything that, that has gone against us, that has connected with us, you know, is, is taking you on that path to where, you know, it can hurt like hell, whatever you've gone through. And there's a lot of us that we have gone through some stuff and it hit deep. <laughs> it hit really deep. 
you know and it's just like how can I pull myself out of this how you know what what things do I need to do you know um and universe when when they see that you're out your own way and really like okay that person like Sally right here she is really trying to learn you know she's been stuck in this negative vibe you know maybe uh uh somebody stole her dog or you know her husband cheated on her or or, or her sister you know I don't know, uh, skip town with her money or something like that, you know, and did something like that. And she, she been focusing on that for so long, focusing on that for so long. And it's like, you have to be able to change that focus up and being able to see certain things. Like if this is happening to my life, okay. Trying to analyze it's like with me, OCD, ADD, CPTSD, you know, so I break everything down. Okay, why do I, why do I keep thinking about this situation? Why do I keep allowing myself to go there? You know, why is like if somebody mentions a certain name and it just make me just go Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and be ready to pop off? You know, maybe this was a, a, a good friend of mine and I really felt wrong for what they did to me, or they betrayed my trust, or they, they did something. You know stole my outfit you know different things like that you know for example and it's just like is that person still in your life no is that person even still call you now i can see if it was just a person that's not in your life but you had to work with them or you had to go to school with them that that's that's hard because you got to see that person every single day but then it's just like a situation like that when universe does that you know it reminds me of a saying where if there is out of sight out of mind but if you have to be in that person's face 24 7 and you see that that person's just not right for you. It's just like you're seeing, you know, it's just not your cup of tea. It's just not what you want anymore. And then you can see the smiles. You can have the conversations and just say, you know what? That's just not for me. It hits totally different. And then you'll understand why universe made you be in that situation where you had no choice like you're you're not this is the one thing or that one person you can't walk away from this is going to be that one situation where you're just going to really have to heal from whatever that person will put you through and then when you finally go through it and get to it you're going to have so much appreciation just for that pain that that was inflicted on your life or pain that was inflicted on your path and then it's just allowing you to change the focus on what you're doing. Instead of allowing myself to hold anger towards this person, basically, you know, or that person having holding anger towards me, you know, you have to be able to say some people are just like that, you know, not to take it personal. And a lot of times it's hard. You know, you're going to take it personal. Like, why did that person step on my shoe and didn't even apologize? Or why, you know, I don't sit up here and stop my car and told somebody to go and they didn't even say thank you. You have to understand some people don't have home training. You know, some people just thought they're rude like that. You ain't the only person they did that to. You know, and then when we get out of that vibration of taking everything personal and being able to control our emotions, just like I said in the other video, be very, very afraid of the calmest person in the room. <laughs> you know, be that person. You become dangerous when you can control your emotions at all the time. A lot of times it gets to that point where after, I, you know, I'll, I'll be kicking myself. I'm like, oh, I really allowed myself to really just go there. You know? And and just, you know, and then they'll allow yourself to know. But then you recognize that you went there, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to fix that. You're really going to have to fix that. And it's just like, don't kick yourself. But then just congratulate yourself because you see where the issue is. And then you, okay, let me go fix this. You know, what are you going to do? Go walk it off. What is the other thing you can do? Okay, go meditate. <laughs> you know, go journal, go do one of those things. And when you're seeing that, you'll start noticing your feet and your focus on positivity. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. Um, like I said, I don't, um, well, ooh, no, this is the last video. I don't know if I'm having, um, uh, cause this one ain't going to probably come out until tomorrow. So I don't know. I'm, I may, I may not have, a, a live chat and vibe today. I don't know. It just depends on how this one goes yesterday <laughs> you know when this video come out tomorrow so i'm gonna see how this one go yesterday so i'll be able to announce it probably on the next video or whatever if i do it or not but um yeah uh i almost slipped up and said that yeah but anyways 
I leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about, you know, uh, hit me up if you, it, it's just like about spiritual networking, you know, be able to give you a deeper understanding of path to purpose, why certain things may have happened, where is it most likely leading you to, what is it, the things you have to learn about yourself, you know, different things is, you know, what's normal, <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, if you're a hey, okay, there's nothing we go through, it's normal. So don't even feel, I'm like, you're not supposed to be normal. You're very rare. You're a hybrid. You're not supposed to be normal. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I help out the best way I can. And whatever we speak on is confidential. So, um, and also, if you're ever interested in having podcasting or you like listening to podcasting on my com my community section of, uh, my community section of my, my channel, I also leave my podcast there as well. You know, um, the link to that. Um, where it's on Spotify. If you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, the Cash App is there as well. And um, whatever you're trying to work on to bring into fruition um, for your manifestations, you know, I'm sending you so much love, like whatever vibes you're needing to, you know, add towards that, amp it up 20 million fold, you know, just for you to be able to stay consistent on that. Keep going. You know, it may be hard, but keep going. You may be scared, but keep going. You may be wanting to give up keep going if you need to take a pause you do that and you come back and you you come back better than you ever had before you know there's too many people that's watching you that's hoping and praying you give up don't give them don't even give them the pleasure keep going you, you never know when you keep going like that it, 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 your, your blessings come right when you least expect it so keep going <laughs> keep going that's the key word keep going so uh you know I, I pray for your productive days you know um and whatever you're needing on that and even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things will really take somebody a long way and just because you are you're beautiful enough to sit up there and do that for somebody and you're not looking for anything in return it's going to take you so much even further i hope you have a blessed safe week please responsible at every single thing you do and much love to you god bless namaste shalom i say grand risings good night good day wherever you're at much love, peace.